Hi guys, I am Deshaun coming to show you the groceries for the month. You know the the, the necessity stuff that is it's good to have in your um pantry or if you don't have a pantry in your wherever your storage wherever you put your groceries it's good to have these items in there just in case of an emergency if the stores shut down or anything for any reason so first we got bread whatever bread you can get your hand on it's good to have some bread because there's many things that you can make with bread or you can just eat bread by itself and push come to shove vegetables it's good to have vegetables because vegetables are good for you carrots we use carrots for different things you you can eat a carrot just to eat a straight carrot or you can cook carrots or should you say hey or you can put carrots in a smoothie you can juice it whatever what and that? sweet potatoes potatoes we, oh. we love we love all kind of potatoes y'all yes i know i used to did not like sweet potatoes but now i do i like all kinds of potatoes now so get it don't matter what kind of vegetable you can get a hold of but if you do get you know fresh fruits and vegetables and you get a large quantity of it if they have a great deal on it you guys get the get the big bag because what i've noticed is when you buy the big bag it's you get more bang for your buck and you get it and you you break it off and put it in ziploc bags and make you know, you can put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in freezer bags, and put it in the freezer. You know, make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So, always, well, not, not always, but when you can, buy a big quantity of items and then break it off into Ziploc bags and freeze it. Onions, you guys. Onions, onions, onions. Onions are good for seasoning your food you know they uh, they give flavor to your food y'all because like a straight onion like onion rings you can eat onion rings or you can make um liver and some onions i mean it's different things you can do with onions but get you some onions y'all add flavor to your food you you want your food to taste good don't you so get you some onions y'all get y'all some onions buy the big bag if you can get the big bag and then break it off and get you some freezer bags and put it in the freezer bags and freeze some of it then the rest of it you can use for when you're cooking fruit you guys try to get you some fruit um if you get fruit, try to get fruit that has seeds in it because fruit that has seeds is more nutritious for you than the seedless ones. I know the seedless ones taste better. I know. Trust and believe me. I know. But, but it's healthier to get the fruit that has the seeds in it. But trust and believe me, when the seedless fruits are on sale, you know, we do eat those, but they do cost more because they are seedless. But the ones with the seeds in them are healthier to eat. So fruit, get get you some fruit. Fruit is good for you. Fruits and vegetables are good for you. Y'all, beans. It's good to have beans in your pantry because beans can go a long ways and you can put beans with different meals you can use it as a filler pinto beans we well i think we eat all beans but pinto beans are one of our favorites to eat it's pinto beans you can get you some dried pinto beans or you can get you some canned pinto beans either or you know, it's good to have beans, you know. We, we, y'all know my girls, well, you know, they was going through that phase where they wanted to have tacos every day. They wanted Taco Tuesday every day. And beans is something that we put with just about every meal. Yes, you heard me. 
beans. So pinto beans, we love us some pinto beans. Rice, you guys, rice. Rice is another thing that you want to have a stock of. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have a lot of rice. You know, rice can stretch. You know what I'm saying? There's different meals that you can put with rice. You can put beans and rice together, baby. Man, I'm telling you, rice. Make sure you have rice in your pantry. But just in case, like I said, you don't know what situation might happen and you're not able to go to the grocery store. Rice is what you need. Have some rice in your pantry or wherever you like to keep your goods. Macaroni. You guys, it's good to have macaroni because there are different pasta meals that you can make with macaronis or back in the day y'all when i was in kindergarten and i was hungry at school i would just eat the the macaroni shells because i was i was hungry and the teacher wasn't i i told y'all what happened in kindergarten so yeah that was the only thing i had to eat was them them shells that was inside the school class so, yeah, it's always good to have some macaroni. You can make so many different meals with some macaroni and some cheese or some macaroni and some salsa. So, always have macaroni. You can make macaroni salad. Have y'all ever had pasta salad? OMG, you guys, I love me some good old pasta salad. Oh, it is so good. With some cucumbers and some tomatoes and like I like to put ranch and Italian dressing. I know, I know that's doing the most, but it's so good, y'all. Y'all let me know if you eat pasta salad. Spaghetti, y'all. That's another pasta that's good to have. It's some spaghetti. Yes, you can make spaghetti. And spaghetti can last you for a long time time if you make a big old pot of spaghetti baby it depends on how many people you're trying to feed it can last for a long time so make sure you got you some spaghetti and i like eating me some uh chicken tetrazzini y'all let me know if y'all eat chicken tetrazzini oh mg i love me some chicken tetrazzini with some garlic bread <laughs> Ooh, and some broccoli. Ooh, wee. Yeah, yes. Oh, yes, baby. I like that more than I like spaghetti. But for real, for real, y'all, it's good to have some spaghetti inside your pantry. Black beans is another bean that we enjoy eating. It's some black beans. Ooh, baby. Black beans go... The same stuff you be putting with them pinto beans, black beans go with it too, y'all. Oh, they are so good, baby. And if you season them, you of course, when you season your food, you can eat just about anything, y'all. For real, for real. So, yes, this is something else that needs to be in your pantry. You need to have this for emergencies. You need a crock pot. Do you have a crock pot? I mean, it, you don't need a crock pot, but it helps when you have a crock pot. Because if you mix all this stuff in a crock pot, baby, then you can go clean the house or sit down and play cards with your neighbors or whatever with the wood and the stuff inside the crock pot be cooking and it, woo, woo, when it's ready, oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. Y'all let me know. What kind of beans? What's your favorite kind of beans? Pinto and black beans, black eyed peas are my top three favorite beans to eat. Baby, let me tell you something. Red kidney beans, baby. Oh, y'all. Mm. I like eating some baked fish with my red beans i know i know i know it sounds so crazy but it's so delicious oh yes with some hot sauce oh, y'all i'm telling you red beans are so good with some baked fish but y'all know y'all know i've been cutting back on the uh fish i don't eat as much fish as i used to eat you know after i seen that video 
Y'all know what video I'm talking about. After I seen that video, I, I done not cut back on fish. But some red beans, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Some red beans and rice. Yes. Oh, yes, y'all. Red beans and rice. I love me some red beans and rice, y'all. Oh, I know y'all like y'all some red beans and rice. It's so good. With some chicken or some ground beef. Ooh. Ooh. Oatmeal. It's good to have oatmeal. Y'all, and y'all know me. I really don't even like oatmeal, but I eat oatmeal. You know, I eat, especially in the fall and the winter time, I eat oatmeal just about every day. And y'all know Elizabeth, my youngest child, she likes oatmeal. Y'all know she wanted oatmeal every day. And she was good with eating the, you know, the packages of oatmeal that you buy. It's already made with the fruit in there. She was good with eating that. But now, y'all, y'all told y'all they going through a change. And she don't want that stuff. She want regular, plain old oatmeal. With some strawberries on the side. Put her fruit on the side. Don't give her that stuff that's already mixed. She want the real shabang. So, yeah. So, oatmeal is a good filler. You can also put oatmeal in your smoothies, too, y'all. It, it's a lot you can do with oatmeal. So, it's good to have oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? You can bathe in oatmeal. I mean, oatmeal is good for a lot, y'all. For real, for real. So, make sure you got some oatmeal in your pantry. Okay, y'all, if you can't do fresh vegetables or frozen vegetables, canned vegetables will do. Make sure you got some of those inside your pantry for emergencies. You know, you want to have some um, tomato tomatoes for your spaghetti. So you're going to need tomato sauce or tomato paste. If you want to make a lasagna, just depending on what you're trying to make. Mixed vegetables and some corn. My girls love corn. OMG, they love corn. They prefer corn on the cob. They prefer corn on the cob. But I don't like corn on the cob, y'all. I do not like corn on the cob. I don't like it getting in my teeth. It, yeah, I don't like corn on the cob. But my girls... Love it. But I do like sweet corn. I do like, I love me some sweet corn. Okay, you guys. Like I said, if you can't get the the beans, the fresh beans inside the package, get the canned ones and black beans. I told you it's one of my favorites. Green beans is something else that we love. We love green Beans, y'all. And if you can't get the frozen or the fresh ones, get the canned ones. It will do. It would do. You need to have these things in your pantry. Like I said, you don't know what might happen. When you cannot get to fresh fruit, canned fruit will do. If you can't get frozen fruit, canned fruit will do. Applesauce. There might be a time when you cannot chew food and the only thing you can do is swallow applesauce will come in handy so canned fruit will do um my girls they like peaches they love fresh peaches they love fresh peaches but they like canned peaches too they just like peaches i don't like peaches i don't do peaches i will eat some peach cobbler but i won't eat the peaches i just eat the crust yeah i know i'm not the only one pears diced pears they love pears they First of all, when they eat fresh pears, they don't even know it's a pear. They be eating that thing like it's an apple. They just be turning it up. They, just, they love fruit, period. You know what I'm saying? I really don't think they care what it is just as long as it's a fruit. But, you know, they prefer vegetables. You know, my girls, especially Allison, y'all know, she didn't start eating meat until she was about until she was about three, two or three. That's when she started eating meat. Before then, all she ate was vegetables and fruit. And even now that she's eight, she she really rarely eats meat. She prefers to just eat vegetables and fruit. But, you know, it's cool. The doctor said it's all right. Guys, when you cannot get to meat, if you don't um, be able to... Like if your if your refrigerator go out, your freezer and everything, 
tuna. It's good to have tuna. You can eat tuna. Get, get you some tuna. Eat you some straight tuna. Tuna and crackers, baby. It's so good. Yes, tuna and crackers. So it's always good to have tuna. I love tuna. I like making tuna fish. I can I can eat tuna, straight tuna. You know what I'm saying? I really don't have to have anything with it. Straight tuna is good for me. So it's good to have tuna, you guys, in your pantry. So yes, you guys, I am Deshaun and I just shared with you some great things to have in your pantry for in case of an emergency. So every month, make sure you have these items in there because you never know anything could happen. You know, so these are the emergency just in case and emergency happen and we're not able to go to the store because i live in texas and the weather here is so crazy you guys it you know it first of all you already know we have heat it's it hot it's hot and then it be raining and then the next day it might snow and everything shut down so that's just how the weather is here in texas you know you just never know so I don't know when we're going to be stuck in the house and the kids be out of school and we just be twiddling our thumbs, you know, just waiting, you know. So, yes, you guys, I am Deshaun. I just wanted to come and share this with you guys. I want to make sure that you are ready for any and everything that might happen. So make sure you have these things in your pantry. These are just a few of the pantry goodies. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a blessed day. And I will TTYL talk to you later. <laughs>